be on day on TV, be on the reviews. I know a lot of you guys have been wondering where Seven on Sunday has been, and it's going to be back in the fall, rest assured, but I've already told you several times, just a slight reminder, it'll be back, I promise. In the meantime, I've got a new series for you where I answer letters and online questions from fans. I would like for them to be more in detail. I asked you guys on my Facebook and Twitter to just go ahead and start posting to my ask.fm account. That is linked in the description down below. Head over there, ask me questions. Make sure if you want credit for the question and you want me to shout you out in the video, uh, leave your name attached to that or else don't submit it anonymously. I'm also setting up a P.O. box, so make sure once that's out, look for it and you can actually send me real letters and other things, whatever you want to send, if you want to send drawings, whatever else you want, you feel like sending me, that can be sent to the P.O. Box. I will be shouting that out in my next couple of videos. As soon as I, I got it applied for, I will be hearing back within the next couple of days what the actual address it is. So anyways, let's go ahead and get to today's anonymous question, which we have right here from my ask.fm account. He or she is asking, do lyrics even matter anymore? Lyrical content is something that has been pushed further and further away from the front burner, if you will. Uh, the past couple of years especially, I feel like it's started to lag. Whether it be just pop music, or even just rock music, metalcore, there's so many genres where I feel like that people just aren't really trying anymore when it comes to lyrical messages. Although I've seen an uptick this year, I would say in popular music, I'm actually seeing a little bit more depth and a little bit more effort being put into things, especially on hooks. But then again, I'm not because we have songs like Turn Down For What, Selfie, Animals getting popular, and they basically just repeat the same things over and over again. Let me take a selfie. Turn Down For What? We're animals. So no, I don't think lyrical content is really important to today's music consumers, at least for the most part, the commercial market that people look for. Um, I hate that. I'm gonna go ahead and say that right now. I hate the fact that I feel like a lot of writers just do not care, do not try when they're writing for big name artists. They're like, okay, here's what we needed to include. We needed to include a party. We needed to be really relatable. Okay, we're gonna have a catchphrase. Turn down for what? Here we go. Oh, this is genius. It's gonna sell two million copies on iTunes. Everybody's gonna be watching the music video. It's gonna be great. I want something that actually has depth, something that I can connect to. Not you telling me the same things over and over again, and even on the tracks that aren't just repeating the same things, it's basically they're saying the same things with their messages. Uh, you're the best, or you can overcome. I don't need to be told that a hundred times with like every message metalcore release out there or every pop anthem that hits the radio. I, I don't think that that's necessary. I understand that we want to empower the youth of America, but they can do that through other ways and they need music that's real, honest, relatable. A certain depth has to be there as well. Looking back at my youth and teenage years, I mean, I had tracks that I could honestly connect with. I had days where I didn't know what was going on and I didn't know who I was. And I would listen to tracks like Who I Am Hates Who I've Been by Reliant K or Animal I Have Become by Three Days Grace or uh, Breaking the Habit by Linkin Park. And it was always something that I could go to. There were tracks that had so much meaning, so much emotional context and uh, just a total emotive force about them that could draw from me feelings that I needed to release. And to today's music, I say, where is your emotive context? Where are you pulling from? All you're pulling on is the fact that people want to release with dancing and partying. But, you know, on a certain level, people need to connect with real emotions and not just try to over overcome everything with partying, drugs, alcohol, etc., etc. Bringing it back down a notch, I just think that the creative artists and the writers that write for the popular artists out there need to really step it up. There are solid writers out there still in the industry. Ryan Key of Yellow Card, for example, is one that has incredible penmanship and pens so many amazing tracks. I think Alex from All Time Low is pretty talented for an upcoming band. Um, Caleb from Beartooth is an extremely good example of someone writing good lyrics in a non-conformist way, I guess you will. For that type of music, it's usually falling into a certain cliché, certain cliché. 
each one of these bands, I feel like, steps it up a little bit and writes things that are fresh and new. What do you guys think about the subject, though? Do you think that lyrics matter anymore? Is it all about the, like, the beat or the feeling that the song gives you? Or do you actually want something that you can connect with? Let me know in the comment section down below, and of course you can submit anything that you want to see me answer to uh, either my Facebook page, you can leave a post on my timeline on Facebook, you can submit it to my Ask.fm, and coming soon, of course, like I said, you can submit it to my P.O. Box. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit the like button if you do like this new series where I answer questions from you guys and try to give you a little bit of perspective and opinion on what I feel about these things. And make sure, like, you, like I said, just give me a detailed question. Try to not just graze the surface. Go into detail about what you want me to talk about. Thanks for watching once again, and make sure you check out my Twitter, Facebook, vlog channel, my main channel. All those links are down below. I will see you guys very soon right here on Beyond ARTV beyond the reviews.